I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Graveyard Trespasser is the best card in Pioneer. Let's title the stream like this. Holy shit, I guess I'll mulligan. So that's how it looks on the other side, huh? Holy shit. Haunted Ridge. Really good land. And we are up against Restless Anchorage, so... Let's go on and play. <laughs> oh wow, Mutavolt. Peak Mutavolt. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I'll just hold on the Fotsies. I'll just play on the Dredge into Harvester. Holy shit, that Mutavolt jump scare though. The Mutavolt is in the deck because I net decked it and... Oh, we drew NT. So NT is until the your next end step. Strong card. Castle of Mutavolt too. Mutavolt with Croxa and Bloodtide Harvester is indeed a little bit of an interesting one, but I think we also have an Urborg in the deck, so... That should make up for uh, for that. So I'm probably interested in fort seizing now. Which means I play Inti first, not Harvester, but it's fine. Fort seize Inti, just double spell. Veto. And now my opponent is gonna get destroyed by Inti Seneschal of the Sun. This variant of Inti is missing the extremely nice Triceratops mount. Which makes the card look kind of worse, I think. What is my favorite dinosaur? It's the Plodocus. Mutavolt looking pretty good now, huh? Looking pretty solid right now, bros. What do you think about replacing Trespasser with Preacher of the Schism? Friend, I think you haven't read the title of the stream closely enough. They did play the first Supreme Verdict pretty freely. I could attack with Mutavol, that's 5 damage, that's probably too weak. I think I'll just play Trespasser. The alternative would have been to attack with Mutavolt and Harvester. Which maybe would be the line. Don't really want to blood away my bone crusher, doesn't seem too effective. And they really need a Supreme Verdict again to, to make a favorable exchange, and otherwise it's pretty tough for them. They can't really deploy a Planeswalker. And next turn, activating Mutavolt is really strong. My favorite dinosaur is Yellow Hot, because he's old. Holy snap, that's humorous. Temporary cockdown. So I get the option to loot. Otherwise I can't loot anymore. So do I am I interested in throwing away bitter triumph? Or the bone crusher giant to drain with the trespasser attacking with it. The Triumph works against the Manland, works against the Fari. Even helps against Emperor, so does Bone Crusher Giant. I think I'll let Lockdown and just activate Mutavolt and then stomp them. 
also makes it nice so the trespasser hits a bit harder. Croxa. Well, this one I would loot away with my blood, but can also discard with better triumph. Now, I'm not sure if I want to eat the harvester, but I will because I think it adds up. They're gonna take five to go to eight. We flip next turn. I have four to two lethal, so that's why. See, the graveyard gluttons just just kill them. They have no outs anymore. Like, what are you gonna play? Like, Hero of Dominaria? More like... Pass priority, not even use it. Holy shit. Fair. <laughs> I take my chance. Hmm. Stomp face. Now I'm going to perform some absolutely vibes based sideboarding against blue eyed because I don't actually know how to do that against this deck. But I have four Reconer Bank Busters and three duress. Blue eyed can sideboard random monsters ranging from Regal Caracal to whatever else. So I'll keep Bitter Triumph because it kills everything. I'll cut Power World Kill and pushes. I'll probably cut two Bone Crusher Giants too. Stomp is good in small amounts. It matches up okay against the Wandering Emperor in some spots, but drawing too many seems bad. Cut copters. I've been thinking of doing that too, since I have the four bankbusters. You can also have Collagan's command, go blank. The copter doesn't really dodge sweepers with the lockdown. How do I like mind rot here? This is my probably my first time playing the matchup, right? so I don't actually know. I also have an extra bone crusher. Mind rot on the draw, maybe. Okay, let's have one mind rot for so called science. And let's click submit. Mind rot exiles deluge. Oh, I'm playing four trespassers, so no deluges are gonna withstand for more than. Half a second in my opponent's graveyard. So, sure. Hopefully, I'll draw a two drop. Holy shit, haunted ridges, insane. <laughs> Might I? I will draw the two drop though, and I will take a counter magic spell to play Fable on free to resolve He's a it. Phenomenal control player. This is my one in a month chance to write something that the streamer is guaranteed to hear, so I have to make it count. Say good card against my deck. Take the Typhoon. Okay, Serian, thank you very much for your support. 18 months is two pregnancies and it means a lot to me. Settle the Wreckage looks really bad against my seven discard spells individual threats attacking you deck so indeed a puzzling choice and it probably has been sideboarded and it wasn't there to begin with but because they technically play sensor let's play it then and then I guess it's a combo, you make them settle the wreckage and then you... Fields... Combo... Question mark... Sounds... It sounds, I wouldn't say it sounds good, but it does sound... It does make a sound... 
next turn I just have to play either Black Cliff Cliffs or Haunted Ridge. And as long as I manage to do that, I'll be fine. It is tempting to take Shark Typhoon and then play Trespasser next turn. Because it does make me feel smart if I do that. At the same time, it might be just wrong because the Typhoon doesn't do anything. And the Fable is going to be just stronger immediately and it's going to let me build up resources better. I mean, counter spells are redundant. Well, do you see a redundant counter spell? In their hand? I don't. Change the equation seems really awkward against Ragdos with that Tres... Oh, maybe not that awkward. It counters everything besides Trespasser and go blank. So it's just looks awkward against Trespasser. Who's the best card? In the deck. Imagine a way that they run more of them. Sure, but they can draw the counter spells as soon as I resolve my fable, right? Which I'll do right now. Fable, fable, fable. Bustin, 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 bustin makes me feel good, feel good, feel good. Feel good, feel good, feel good. Bustin makes me feel, feel good. Feel good, feel good, feel good. So we actually know their hand. Three of the cards. Probably discard two haunted cringes. Seems good to have more manlands. Don't necessarily want to play two creatures either. Too much into a sweeper. I will trasp some ass. Exile that change the equation. Shadow and war. Oh, oh, is it time to cycle and make a 1-1 one, one shark? Is blue eye control really bad against Ragdos? Actually, it sure seems like it. It's better to play the Harvester here into Saddle because Trespasser is harder to remove if you play it during the turn they settle. I settle for nothing. But actually, I don't know. It's a tag with just the Gluton. Hey, I came to see cards getting exiled from Graveyard. Anything like that there? I have just the perfect stream for you. Look at what's happening here. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? White, white, white. A ganjo. War discard a card. Holy shit. See, this card is insane. You can't do anything. This card settle. Obviously you do. I have no cards as I crocs at them. Preacher of the scissors could never, exactly. The scissors would never be preach, preached. I bet my opponent was looking to hard cast that shark typhoon, but not on my watch. If we had Crocs at them first, they wouldn't have killed our beloved Graveyard Exiler. 
Sure, but I'm actually glad they did. What brand of watch do you have? I hold no watch. Next turn, copy, copy Hive. I will for the fans. Croxa is the best card in Pioneer. Croxa too. Dig is a pretty good top deck. How come they have so many cards in their graveyard when I as graveyard trespass their cards? Seems like a bug. Is copying Hive better than copying Croxa? See, you can't copy Croxa. Another target non-legendary creature you control. Well, Croxa is legendary. It's a very silly suggestion. Are you mull on the draw? I wish I would have kept. Alright. Holy shit, the haunted ridges. I really don't know if I should be playing them.
He's a phenomenal control player. I cannot think of anything as cringe as waking up and discovering that you are in a simulation. Well, actually I can. It's anime. Anime is cringe. Bonus meme, ye.
now that I'm finally nourished, <clears throat> I can commit 1,000 of my 1,000 percent of my attention towards this match and demolish my opponent. Давай то шедерка. Holy shit, no shader. He'll never recover. Unless... Maybe you should play a go blank immediately. And free the fire actually refuels the graveyard. They would have three cards, so they can't because you can can you not take a card? Put an instant sorcery, so you have to put you you have to take the card, so probably should have go blank because they can't cast cruise then. And I have two go blanks and they could cruise now. Oh they cruise with no phoenixes like <clears throat> water with no wetness. Next turn I'll show them with the go blank. One issue with playing Giganta is that Lightning Axe is actually a pretty bad card against Phoenix, right? In in Phoenix against Ragdos. So making it so that they don't need Lightning Axe is beneficial for them. Because they could just skip Axe and they can just have Impulse plus small sweepers. <clears throat> or a braids. What else was there? Fire impulse, a braid, fire impulse. Let's play the Yargle push. Holy shit, I'm readying my first go blank to... to make them go real blank... quite soon. Is it possible that I want to discard anti Seneschal of the Sun? This is likely to trade one for one. It is not a Trespasser. Not a Fable, not a Croxa. Croxa. Name me Bad Lotus Matchup XD. Ragdos Midrange. Check fucking mate, bro. Feeling owned yet? They discarded Steam Vents and Treasure Cruise. So Go Blank was like discard five. Spell Pierce, they seem not to have Spell Pierce. They kept on top. They keep a Drake. Holy shit, it's worse, that's a Ledger Shredder. You see a pair of ledger shredders. He's a phenomenal control player. <clears throat> I think I'd rather keep push for Drake than. <clears throat> Spend it. Holy shit, they got me. 
Oh yeah, whatever. I guess I didn't need to attack. No, I needed to. I have to special summon Croxa. See what they discard. They discard Bro and so they have a spell. I don't know if I should be go blanking them or not. We play 5 mana cruise, that is actually okay. <clears throat> they probably would keep a country over Brotherhood's end too, because end here kills their two shredders. Crackling Drake, oh yeah. Two looks at a pierce, I think I would upkeep push a shredder, they don't have pierce. I got Giga rewarded chat for my patience. Go blank pass and make tokens was maybe good also. Maybe. Except that it clearly was not. No conniving on my watch. Hi, you think Boros Pia is a good deck for Pioneer? Not really. I don't have much respect for the Boros Pia deck. I feel like it is a little bit weak. Boros Pia in your mouth, I wish. <clears throat> Holy shit, the picklock punk prankster failed to find a treasure cruise? That is a bug in the matrix. Play the Boros Convoke, it's a better deck. Honestly, I'm not sure about that. The Boros Convoke meme spreading was a bit surprising to me because it was pretty clearly a little bit shit all the time, the entire th time, but maybe it wasn't. Top three decks in Pioneer. Ragdos, Scam, Amulet Titan, and Living End. Holy shit, two Phoenixes. How do you level up your limited portion of the PT? Who's to say that I will? I think you've got it confused here, buddy. Are they DOB on board? I hope you will. Holy shit. That is a bit of slander, but... Happens. Go blank. Five attackers each lethal. Hive question mark. Yes, I'm using my hive to produce an extra attacker. Because I will not risk my actual reflections. Holy shit, Coxa is so good. Coxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. What did they discard if they go blank? Spells? They discard a Spiral of Canal anyway, so... Hive was killing them too. Activate Hive. Block, block, block. 
Wait, I mean, Hive was lethal anyways, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They can only block 4. So both lines produce lethal. Does this kill Quintorius? No, I guess my opponent is not playing Quintorius. I keep... What are you playing in Ghent, by the way? I will play Amulet Titan. Today I... got my third... 2-2 uh, Preliminary which... fuels me with optimism. Really tempting to stomp it, but I don't have too many lands, so I'll just push and play Harvester. I have a shit ton of removal anyways. <clears throat> I probably will get a an opportunity to stomp this game still. It is a bit awkward. He plays a creature with protection, but I have to remove us so I can like wait a little bit too. And need to hit my land drops. He might also f miss the third land drop himself. Or I can use Harvester to <clears throat> kill the Virtuoso. Would really like to loot away the second copter, but Holy shit. At least he casts a card that's good for me. I stomp. <laughs> Four cards left. <clears throat> Schmuggler's Copter looking excellent so far. Grab Giganta, I like that. Just let me draw an untapped land. Okay. Croxa is a pretty big giant to stomp with too. I can discard the other copter pretty freely. Just need to draw lands. Holy shit. Two creatures now. Do you rather draw all lands or all removal? All lands. All lands. Land for Fable now. Kurva no. Zumeczki. One land arena. What is so hard to get about that? Land Habit The Ragdos experience. There is nothing Ragdos specific about that. Offset Courage value discard. Pfft. 
all cars that do basically the same thing direct as experience do you mean smuggler's copter and by do the same thing you mean the cars do nothing because holy shit it truly does can't wait to board out uh, this freshly unbanned card as my point plays yet another illuminator virtuoso cool they have giganta but they also have a non land it's colorless though are you sure you want to board it out yes What do you think are the odds that my opponent has <clears throat> monstrous energy drink rage? <clears throat> Holy shit, the odds were slim, but we had the five percenter. Truly unfortunate. Now in 2.13 seconds I remove the smuggler sculptors and I'll add duress This is all I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I submit. Why is Trespasser so good? Holy shit, bros. Have you never played a match of Pioneer in your life? Have you never played against Graveyard Trespasser? If Ragdos had an ambitious farmhand card, I might actually think about playing it. Struggling to hit land drop number 3 is not ever a thing I want to deal with. Holy shit, we have a... Cutter, that's too good to fucking miss his third land drop for forever. Sure, buddy. I want a two drop with the same word cost as Graveyard Trespasser and we'll be cooking. What if the Ability on it is being a 2-2 though. <clears throat> Time to draw a land. Close. Right bottom. Maybe a serious step pathway is actually a mistake. I should have kept Sulfur Springs. <clears throat> I probably should be able to tap one. Like I will rarely need double red and my I might need triple black next turn if I draw a duress. Villain's hand is legionnaire rage two cards. Now as a free I should have blocked the Swift Spear. Hmm, I mean that might incentivize monstrous rage too, so <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
<clears throat> no, holy shit. That is bad. There's another one, but maybe it's just a defiant strike. <clears throat> Interestingly, that was a reason to let them scry first. Holy shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> Ten seven, I take well a lot. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I'll die to a spell, but it's quite one top, so that's a bit rough. It's quite top anyway, so you would have drawn the God's Willing. Holy shit, I'm feeling deeply violated after this much. If I only had a smuggler's copter to be colorless and accompany me. This hand probably shouldn't be kept against Yorion's kind of mod. This is good. Oh no, they will use Field of Ruin on as soon as turn 2. With Sunken Citadel. Keeping push. That might have been unwise, yeah. If, now that you say that. Now that you're saying it. Gonna have what portable hall? Or are you just kidding? I mean, I don't know. Like, don't they play like Shark Typhoon so I can keep the push? Holy guacamole, that is another restless anchorage. One, two, three. Four. I'll just... Since villain has verdict, right? So... And it's many lands. Not anymore. Demolition field. Still, let's take the fairy. Verdict seems pretty bad. We take free damage here. Unless they ditch verdict, but that seems poor. Can I take six damage? So next turn I just escape Croxa and it either discards so it like the verdict is not scary. Or oh, canister wins, cool. Holy snap, Croxa was nice, this prelim. I have really enjoyed it. Also, a copter looked not so bad, but it's gonna be bad into some of their cards. Why for trespasser? In which matchup does it shine? 
But also, I don't know, that's just like how I feel when I play Pioneer. I play against the Gregor Trespasser and I just explode and die every single time. No matter what I play, Phoenix, non-Phoenix, it's all the same, I get destroyed. Amalia, Phoenix, any Yorion deck I ever played, keep, I crocs are you, fires, hose, Outlaws is confirmed for April 19, one week before the Pro Tour Founder Junction, which is standard plus OTJ draft. OTJ? That sounds normal. Just one week? This sucks. This is awesome. Yeehaw! Holy shit, the variety of... It's one week less. Sure. I mean... Sure, if you can buy the cars, then it's gonna be good. Of course, you will not. Let's keep... Take the 4 mana card. I could... Ignore it, but maybe not. Seems a bit tough to ignore. Ooh. NT, Senertial of the Sun. Next one I can Fotsies myself to draw a card with NT. That sounds rather good if you ask me. Oh, Graveyard Trespasser. This is insanely good. What do we ditch? Probably Bone Crusher Giant or a land. Let's ditch a land. If I hit a land, I'll be happy. I just get my counter and that's good. Yeah. If I ditch Kuroxa and I hit a discard spell, I waste my mana and now I can play Kuroxa and my opponent's hand seemed fairly vulnerable to Kuroxa too, because they like have three five drops. Well, maybe that that means that Kuroxa is trading for a five drop, which is good value, is what I mean. Play the trespasser. They drew supreme verdict, and they are truly supreme. <laughs> Not so supreme now, buddy. I guess Kroxa doesn't actually do anything. I'd probably keep land. I'd probably discard Kroxa now. Because I'll go Fotsis plus free drop. Or Fotsis Harvester. Five five. Holy shit, what a hand. I take your Verdict Supreme and play another creature. Seems clearly worth it to play Sunken Citadel. Holy shit, that was the easiest match I have ever played. And the only loss this prelim was versus Heroic where I think I got monstrously unfortunate. They did not play a single card throughout the entire match. They played no spells game one, right? Yeah, just field, 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 die to Kroxa. 
They could have played the verdict, it wouldn't do anything, but they actually, yeah, they actually played zero cards and died. <laughs> Holy shit. What a deck.